yeah uh, we have two series series x and series y and we want to find the correlation between x and y what we will do according to carl pearson method we have one formula right and what is that formula if we talking about that formula formula is what r is equals to summation dx uh, dy whole divided by under root of summation dx square under root of summation dy square and one more formula is what that is r is equals to summation dx dy minus summation dx dy divided by n whole divided by under root of summation dx square minus summation dx divided by n within bracket whole square under root of summation dy square minus summation dy divided by n this is what whole square this is what shortcut method this is direct method and it is what shortcut method when will you shortcut method with assume mean assume mean and this is used by actual mean right now first of all we will check that in this uh, case we have what kind of mean i am going to calculate mean i am going to calculate mean so this is what average of this is what average is 29 okay perfect we have a mean in integer number what about the case of y the actual mean is equals to average of the series right that is what 99.25 okay uh, thing is that the last number is 160 okay so 117.25 now problem is this the uh, mean of y is what in decimal so uh, if we want to ignore it because of when we get uh, mean of y or x in decimal point we will use shortcut method we have to use assume mean so i am going to take assume mean assume mean assume mean for x uh, say i am taking 30 as assume mean for y i am taking 120 as assume mean right this is my assume mean this is what my assume mean now i am going to calculate dx i am going to calculate dy dx is what x minus 30 and what is dy y minus uh, 120 is what dy so just calculate it equals to 15 minus 30 this is what minus 15 right and similarly i am going to calculate dy that is what y minus 120 is what dy i calculate it this is what dy now we also find dx dy we require dx square we require dy square so if we talking about dx dy so that means multiply dx into dy here i am going to calculate dx dy now calculate dx square that means dx multiply by dx this is what dx square what is dy square equals to dy into dy 
that is what dy square right and we have to do total of it also so i am going to calculate total of dx that is minus 8 total of dy dx dy and all so this is basically what if we talking about this this is summation dx this is summation dy this is summation dx dy this is summation dx square this is summation dy square yes or no now i am going to use second formula shortcut method why shortcut method because of i am working with assume mean i am working with assume mean uh, now just I want to put the value that is what R is equals to summation dx dy is what 2 3 3 9 2 3 3 9 minus summation dx summation dy so summation dx is minus 8 summation dy is what minus 22 divided by n n is what eight total number of pair whole divided by summation dx square that is what one zero three zero one zero three zero minus summation dx that is what minus eight divided by eight whole square and it is under root similarly under root of summation dy square five 404 4 minus summation dy that is what minus 22 divided by 8 and whole square of it right okay now just solve it uh, minus 8 into minus 22 what happened it comes 176 176 divided by 8 comes 22 right so 2339 minus 22 2339 minus 22 it become 2317 2317 divided by if we're talking about this so minus 8 divided by 8 is minus 1 and minus 1 square is what 1 and 1 0 Three zero minus one become one zero two nine one zero two nine and another thing the square root of minus twenty two divided by eight minus twenty two divided by eight is minus two point seven five and the square of it is what seven point five six two five and we have to subtract the value of this is what if we talking about value of this calculation is what 7.5625 and we have to subtract this value from this 5404 so uh, i'm going to minus it from 5404 it become 5396.4375 right now just you just solve it equals to 2317 divided by what I'm going to do I am taking a square root of it 1029 1029 and square root a square root is what 32 32.0780 multiply by just take a square root of this 5396.4375 and square root of is what 73 73.4604 right now calculated first is equals to 2317 divided by uh, 32 Point zero seven eight zero multiply by seven three point four 
six zero four equals to two three five six point four six two seven, right? And just divide it by it. What uh, two three one seven divided by two three five six point four six two seven is equals to what zero point nine eight three two. It is what coefficient of correlation nine eight three two nine eight three two, right? So we can say R is equals to zero point nine eight three two is Carl Pearson coefficient of correlation using shortcut method. Why we use shortcut method? Because of mean of Y series is one one seven point two five. That is in decimal. That is not an integer. Because of it is in decimal point, it is not an integer. That is why we use shortcut method. Suppose we have mean in what form? In integer form, we use direct method. I hope uh, you all will understand this thing. Yes, 